Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Size World. And friends, in the last video, we read the first and the second chapter of the sixth standard English Bal Bharti book. That was uh, the first chapter was Don't Give Up, and the second was Who was Who's the Greatest. And today we are going to read the second and the third chapter. That is the first is the third is auto autobiography of the great indian bustard and the second is children are going to school so friends let's get started just a second yes so friends we will start with the first lesson of this chapter we will zoom in Oh, oh, oh. It? Yes, now. So, friends, let's start reading this chapter. So, friends, name of this chapter is The Great Autobiography of a Great Indian Buster. So, let's start. Okay. 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 Yes, so now we will start. Yes, yes. yes. The autobiograph autobiography of a great Indian bustard. Which is the heaviest flying bird in India? Well, friends, it's me, the great Indian bustard. I feel proud to be known as the in great Indian bustard. I have more than 30 different names in various Indian languages. In Marathi, I am known as Maldho or Hum. I can weigh up to 18 kilos and stand up to 4 feet in height, reaching up to your shoulders or even higher. I have got a long wide neck, brown wings, tall yellow legs and black cap on my head. My wife, Mrs. In, Mrs. Buster, is small, smaller and similar than I am, and her neck is not white. But I have heard you. I have heard humans say that we both look impressive. I live on the grassland and deserts along with my other friends, including Chinkara, Blackbuck, and Larks. I eat everything, including snakes, lizards, small fruits, and berries, and, and all sorts of insects. That's a very healthy habit. But grasshoppers and beetles are my favorite food items. When it starts raining, we all gather at our favorite grassland where there are no people to disturb us. I perform wonderful dance by gulping air in the special feathery pouch attached below my neck. This pouch helps me to produce a resonating sound similar to the one produced by the cow. Hmm. I dance in joy with puffed out feathers, feathers and cocked up tails and drop down wings. It help me, helps me to impress my soulmate. You know that we birds lay eggs and our young ones are hatched out of the eggs. Mother GIB G. lays eggs on, lays just egg directly on the ground. We don't believe in building nest, but, but we have a special trick to protect our eggs, to protect our eggs, to protect our eggs from the from the predators, predators. The egg looks like a stone. Monitor lizards, foxes, dogs, pigs, snakes, and eagles are the enemies of my eggs and chicks. But my wife protects the egg from all of them. 
by the time our young ones are hatched out of the eggs, the rains arrive. By the time our young ones are hatched, the rains arrive. There's plenty of grass swarming with insects, fresh food for my family, young ones, young ones of other birds soon fly away from the nest but a great indian bustard mother and the chicks stay together for nearly one year the chick learns many good habits from the mother you may have heard about the great human friend of ours dr salim ali he had even suggested that we should be given we should be given the status of the national bird of our country but the honor went to the beautiful relative the peacock i am happy to tell you that i can i am the state bird of rajasthan we have got 10 centuries for our protection but sadly, our number is still going down. We used to live in all parts of India, but slowly of the growing population of men pushed us away from more than the 90% of our home regions. We are afraid of hunters that kill us for fun. We also die due to the electric power lines that we can't see while flying. We are losing our homes today. Only at least 200 of us are left in the world. We need your support and love in order to survive. Can you help us? You can write letters to your leaders and make an appeal to help us. You can you can make my drawing and help and submit it to your teacher you can discuss this with your parents come us to see us at the centuries because now you will not see us in another places and who knows if human don't help us none of us will be left on the earth you will see us only in pictures Friends, this uh, this uh, lesson is written by Dr. Pramod Patil. Okay, friends, then we will read the next uh, lesson. Yes, the next lesson's name is The Children Are Going to School. Yes, the children, children are going to school. So let's start. Morning lights spread over the earth. Once again, the sky bows his head in respect for children are going to school. The sun after his morning dip in the river and dressed up in his golden muslin turban waits, for, waits and smiles. On one side of the road for children are going to school. Though the green topped branches breeze sing their songs and blessings, fragrant, uh, fragrant flowers awaken the sleepy road with their melodious. At the corner of the lane, the people in his lush deep uh, floggy waves in his hands for the children are going to school angels of light have set out every day in a, a again at his hour at this hour every uh, wait a second yes Every particle of the earth throbs like a mother heart. Time sitting out of an old roof flies pigeons and sky for the children are going to school. So, 
so friends this uh, this poem is written by translated from means this poem is not in english it is translated from vanchi to english and this this is written by nida falids okay friends so now we will in the next video we are going to read we are going to read the chapter of a kabaddi match and the second chapter that is uh, the peacock and a crane okay friends so bye for today like like this video share it to your friends and relatives and subscribe to my channel thank you bye